Because the historical records are so limited, it's been difficult for scientists to identify any trends that would help them predict when the next hurricane might strike New York. However, Dr. Jeff Donnelly of the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute has found a way to go beyond the written records using a new science called paleotempestology. Paleotempestology is the study of past storms. What we're trying to do is extend our knowledge of when these hurricanes hit okay. and help us predict potentially what may happen in the future. Dr. Donnelly and his team are going back in time by digging down. They are looking for signs left behind by one of the most devastating byproducts of a hurricane, the storm surge. A storm surge is a raised dome of water that's created when the low pressure center of a hurricane, the eye, pulls water up. This dome of water travels with the hurricane, whose high-speed winds also whip the ocean surface. The result is enormous tsunami-like waves that sweep away everything they encounter. These waves are so large they leave behind clear signs that can be detected through sediment cores. You can see that this organic layer which is probably marsh, has sand layers above it, more marsh, sand. And so it's these sand layers that are the hurricane deposits, the storm surges coming up over the beach and washing this sand into the marsh. So this is like a little time machine. And the cores paint a chilling picture. We know, um, for example, that this is a, a layer that, that we've attributed to the 1938 uh, hurricane. This was 1821. Uh, hurricane. Uh, it was the last uh, big hurricane to actually pass over New York City. This was the hurricane in 1815. Uh, great colonial hurricane of 1635. And then these storms date to, to 900 or 800 years ago. And that 1,000 years, 1,500 years. Dr. Donnelly's research has revealed that over the last thousand years, the northeastern seaboard has been repeatedly struck by major hurricanes. Add to this the effects of global warming, and a worrying trend emerges. Not only are hurricanes likely to become fiercer, but water levels all along the east coast will rise. Within a few decades, New York will be a mere seven feet above sea level, which means that even relatively modest storms will do as much damage as rare once-in-a-century storms did before.